Well, Aaron, we just saw the completion of the Holman Highway roundabout and now plans for more roundabouts on Highway 68. And the commute along Highway 68 can be unpredictable between accidents and rush hour. Other options were considered, including adaptive street lights and roadway widening. But it seems that more roundabouts are the way of the future. Every day, more than 25,000 cars travel between the Salinas Valley and the Monterey Peninsula on Highway 68. This traffic is expected to go up by 10% over the next 25 years. Tamsi sees roundabouts as a solution for congestion. People are not stopping at a light, so you're not coming up and waiting, and you don't have people waiting behind you. You get that continuous flow. 11 major intersections would be converted to roundabouts to keep traffic flowing and reduce crashes. Corral de Tierra is one of the more high traffic intersections along Highway 68. So in addition to a roundabout, there would also be road widening from here to San Venancio. Most people agree something needs to be done, but there are still questions about whether this is the right way to go. But even at peak times when the road is completely packed, we can get our ambulances through there at the speed limit sometimes a little higher because people will pull to the right and get out of the way. And when you run into 11, uh, as many as 11 roundabouts, how is that going to affect our ambulance service and our fire service? A minute or two can make a difference between somebody's life and someone's death. Uh, hospitality feels that uh, it could actually end up pushing more traffic onto 156 during the weekend times and event times, which is the last thing the community wants. I don't want to be part of that board who 30 years from now you're sitting in traffic and you go, what the heck were they thinking by putting 11 roundabouts within a 13 mile radius. Through this study, uh, we can really kind of get a better understanding of what that would look like for the average commuter coming from Salinas and working in Monterey. Well, today the Tamsi board voted to move forward with the project development phase with Caltrans, which means over the next few years there will be an environmental review and study of possible designs and impacts. So it's not set in stone, but if all goes according to plan, we could start seeing construction in four to five years. Erin. And, and as you say, it is a long, we're still a long way out for, before they actually do build these. And that will give them time to see how the Holman Highway roundabout works too. Exactly. So. All right. Thank you, Bianca. Mm -hmm. Tamsi also working on a project to alleviate traffic along Highway 156. The idea is to construct a new four lane highway called the Monterey Expressway. They would run parallel and then just a little bit south of Highway 156. Project will also include new interchanges between 156 and Highway 101 as well as Casterville Boulevard. Total cost is estimated at $365 million, which means that Tamsi is about $295 million short. So to help fill that gap, the agency is considering tolls along the expressway. Currently, a toll study is being done to determine potential rates and perhaps discounts for locals. Results of the study will be presented at the October TAMSI meeting.